Hello everybody, my name is Amy and welcome back to my Floss Tube channel, uh, Snow Can Stitcher. It's been a while, so I thought I would do an update and let everybody know what I've been up to and not much has changed. I'm still stitching and pretty much on the same stuff, but I do have some finishes, so I'll show those. It's amazing how these videos gets me organized. I, I kind of just kind of like was a little bit wild for like three months now. So this is going to help organize me and see where I'm at. And yeah, so there may be a few edits in this video because I feel like I've got as much organized as possible to do this video. So we'll see. All right. So, um, let me see, November, Thanksgiving. Um, I have my book of days from last year, which I'm a lot better now at writing stuff down, which is good because you can always refer back to the, the book of days. Um, let's see, finishes. <laughs> That's right, I'm supposed to do finishes. I did have some finishes. I had, um, I finished, uh, the Barbara Anna design, Dreaming Frida, that I was doing for my youngest daughter. Uh, I gave it to her, asked her if she could send me a photo of it so I could share it on my floss tube. So hopefully, um, yeah, she, she'll get, she'll, she'll send me a photo of it and then I'll be able to pop it, pop it up here. Um, that was pretty exciting. I actually, her birthday is in October and I'd actually tried to get it uh, finished in time for her birthday, but I didn't. So there wasn't a whole lot left to do on it. So I was able to finish that up um, in November. And then um, let's see, what else did I work on in November? Um, I worked a little bit on, mm, oh, you know what? November, that's right, I did a lot of crocheting. So I had made a crochet blanket for my oldest daughter for Christmas, uh, Granny Square. Yeah, I think it's called Granny Square. <laughs> And uh, I got that finished for her for Christmas. And uh, so I'll, I'll share a photo of that probably at the end of the video since it is crochet. But I crocheted and crocheted and crocheted um, because I had got all my squares done, but I still needed to crochet all the squares together. So, um, which was a lot of fun. I enjoyed it and it turned out really pretty. She had um, her and, and her family had gone to, um, I think it was Scotland, and they had rented an Airbnb while they were over there, and she had fell in love with a Granny Square crochet blanket and was sharing it on Instagram and how much she loved it. And I was like, well, you know, I can make you one of those. So that's, that's how that came about. But that's what I worked pretty much, it looks like pretty much what I worked on. I did work on um, Rocking Horse. Um, but I did, I, I had that finish. So we're still doing finishes. Um, another finish that I had was my uh, Sarah Jackson. And did I bring that? I don't think I'll bring the photo or anything with me downstairs. I didn't, so I'm just gonna be able to share the, um, the finish. And it's actually been here in my sewing room since I finished it. Did I finish this in September? I mean, November. I think I finished this in January. Let me get my other book of days. Cause I know um, I did a lot of knitting in December. I didn't do hardly any stitching in December. So that book of days is complete. And I have my new book of days, this one. 
And so in January, I think is when I finished my Sarah Jackson. Sarah Jackson, Sarah Jackson. Anyway, she's finished. <laughs> so here she is, all finished. And so now all I need to do is get her framed. And it's funny because I carried this whip for a, at least a couple years. I don't know why. I just, for some reason, it just, I had a hard time getting back to it. Um, so I'm really glad to get her finished. I love this, this uh, pattern. And uh, I think I did this on, this looks like Sterling by Picture This Plus. And I used all the call for threads. And I think it's 40 count. So I like stitching on 40 count, 36 count is my favorite. Um, I do like 28 and 32, but I always seem to go back to 36, but this is on 40. So there's that one. I was really super happy to get her finished. And then another finish that I was able to finish up in January, which I worked all the month of, um, pretty much all the month of beginning January, the new year, um, I, I worked on my, uh, do I have the folder with, me? no, I didn't bring it with me, my Mirabilia. She is done, I am so excited. I have maybe one or two of the larger beads. They're like the really big. Um, she still lacks her bead. I think she has a bead here in the center and then she's got like a, a, a large leaf that goes here and then one that goes over here. But other than that, she is done. And I did this on 32 count. Um, this is some fabric that I colored myself for her. I started her like three, four times. Um, but yeah, you can see the beads are glittering in the light. She's so pretty. Yep, got her all finished. Super, super excited about it. And this was my first mar marabilia that I'd ever done. So, here she is. She's so pretty, so, so pretty. So I'm super excited that she's done. And I do have plans to start another Amelia video, but I won't share that until I get all, all the supplies and everything together. <laughs> um, but those were, I think those are all my finishes other than, yeah, that's all my finishes. So <laughs> I hope you guys are enjoying your stitching and that you've gotten some finishes done maybe. Um, I'll tell you what, I because I I pretty much decided, you know, in January that I wanted to work on my marabilia and get her done, I just dug in and I just stitched on her every day. I didn't stitch on anything else um, until I got her done because I I purchased her I I started the first time I started her was in 2020. So I've been carrying her for quite a while. Uh, it may have been, it may have even been 2019. She was one of the first cross stitch, one of several cross stitch patterns that I purchased when I first started cross stitching. Um, I have to admit, at the beginning, I was a little intimidated, um, and I, I think I went around and around with the fabric choices. Uh, for the most part, until I decided, you know what, why don't I just try and color a piece of fabric like I have envisioned? And so I did, and that was that was truly exciting when the fabric turned out like I wanted. So, um, so I'm super happy to get her done. I had carried her so long, um, and so after I realized what I could do by stitching on her, just digging in and getting her done. I decided, you know, I should do that with a lot of my patterns. Just pick it up, start stitching on it, and, and stitch on it until it's done. Um, for some reason, I didn't have quite the zeal that I did to um, finish my Mirabilia. So I was like, well, maybe I should do Whip Go again. So I did start Whip Go again in January. 
at the um, started with go on the 30th of January. Uh, I did up my chart, made up my chart, and I just started following. I did, um, let's see, yeah, so February I would have started, but because I worked, um, I have Rocking Horse Holiday. Oh, okay. So I, I worked the 31st of January on the January web go, which was here. And surprisingly enough, um, the numbers nine and 22, oh, I remember I decided, okay, for nine and 22, the January numbers, I will just do for Rocking Horse Holiday. And I did bring that, I did bring that with me. So I can share my progress on that one. So this is Rocking Horse Holiday. Probably can't see my envelope's a little wrinkly, so I'll take it out of the plastic. This is Rocking Horse Holiday. Um, I had watched this pattern for at least a year and a half. It's by Artful Offerings, um, designed by Katrina, sorry, Karina, Hiddle of Artful Offerings. And I was just like, I have to have that pattern. I want to stitch it so bad. It was on dark fabric and I, would, I don't know, I get these cravings sometimes just to stitch on dark fabric. So I am stitching, oh, I didn't bring my, I didn't bring my um, book that tells me all the details. Let me see if the fabric tag is in here. Well, it's on the called for fabric. And the call, oh, here it is. It's on um, L, 36 count L. And this is my progress. my needle minder off. I thought it would be okay, but it's quite big. And it's just a little necklace pendant, like costume jewelry, and I turned it into a needle minder. I love the color of red that that is. It's just so pretty, so pretty. But this is my progress. It's not ironed, sorry. Maybe I should iron it right quick. Let me go iron it right quick, okay. Here we go, she's all ironed. So that's the progress that I made on it. I started this one in January. Yes, January. So I was able to stitch, oh wait, no, I didn't start her in January. I think I started this one a while, a while back. Anyway, this is where I'm at with her. And yeah. I think it's come along quite nicely. I love this. And I'm just called for threads, which there's not very many of them. Um, just a few, few colors in that one. But I'm super excited about that one. It's just rustic. Just, yeah, warms my heart. Make sure I put all this back. And she's nice and iron now. <laughs> Alrighty, so um, so that was for January's whip go. Um, the numbers for January was nine and 22, and since I just started whip go, made out my chart on the 30th, I decided, okay, I'll work on um, Rocking Horse Holiday um, and just put that for the numbers for January. So that's what I worked on. I worked on my Mirabilia, and I worked on that, and I did work on Ann Tong. So, once I finished my Mirabilia, I started working on Anton because I, I was like, wow, so I got my Mirabilia done. Let me start working on Anton. And, um, and that's when I decided, you know, I think I'm gonna do whip go. So at the end of the month, I worked on Anton up until the 30th. And um, she probably needs to be ironed too, so I'll be right back. Okay, so this is the progress that I made 
on Anton. So I did a lot of that border over here on this side um, up to that point. And that's where I'm at with her. And to be honest, um, I had quit working on her. I, I almost decided to start her over because my fabric, if you look, it's really close to the edge over there. Because my fabric, my fabric is cut kind of awkward to the grain. And so I was a little worried. That's one reason I stitched up to the top to see if I was gonna have room to stitch her. And I mean, it's very close to the edge, but I think I can work with it. So I was like, okay, I, I had decided I would just not work on her anymore, that I'd start her over and I was, <laughs> because I've got so much work in it. I was like, let me take a look at it and see how bad it is. And then I did and I was like, okay, I'll work on it some more. And I'll just go do that border and see if I'm gonna have enough room and whew, yes. Yes, 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 it worked out. So I will be working on her again. Um, here is a photo of this one. That's how she'll look when she's done. And I am stitching this on, I can't remember, oh, here's my ticket. This is uh, cafe, cafe a lot. Okay. And I am using all the call for uh, silks on that one. So, and I've been working on her for a while. So I'll look, I am looking forward to getting her done because she's been a, she's been a long-term stitch of mine. And it's another one that I was a little intimidated by. Um, I don't think this is the first one I worked on from Hands Across the Sea. I'll have to look that one up to see. I don't think it's the first one I've done. Maybe this, I can't remember. But that's what I worked on in January. Um, and then this month, February, uh, I, I was I had started the Whipco chart and the numbers for February were three and twenty four, so I had uh, three and twenty four was map of Hawk Run Hollow and Blooming Bouquet, Blooming Bouquet, Bouquets, Bl Blooming Bouquets or Blooming Bouquets, <laughs> however you want to look at it. And this one's gonna need to be ironed too. So here is a photo of what it will look like when it's finished. And this is one of many in a series. Here's a, a list of other ones they have which I have, find it, Christmas, I have this one, Christmas at Hawker and Hollow. I have this one. Um, I want to do, here's the map of Hawker and Hollow, the one I'm working on. But they also have, I want to do the, um, this one, the Halloween at Hawker and Hollow, which a lot of people are stitching that one. I really, I just like them all. <laughs> Will I do them all? It would be cool, I think, to do them all. But yeah, this is what it'll look like when it's finished. And it was the number called for Whipgo in February, so this is how much I was able to get done. I plan on stitching um, the page, doing each page. In, in, in its entirety before I move on to the next page. That's why there's a line down at the bottom. And I'm stitching this on 40 count tombstone. Did I say 40 count? Yeah, 40 count tombstone. And I'm 
with all the MPI colors. So that was February's whip go, one of February's numbers. And what I decided to do since I worked on the Nobilia uh, for straight days and had made such good progress getting her finished, I decided, oh no, that's a needle. And not a random piece of floss. <laughs> it's not a random piece of floss, Amy. There. Um, I decided that for my whip go, what I would do is for each number that's called, I will just work eight days a month on, on, that, on that number, um, which worked out really good uh, in February. So I worked on Map of Hawk Run Hollow for eight straight days. And then I started on my second whip go number, which is Bloom and Bouquets. Bloom and Bouquets. This is another whip go. I mean, this is another whip that I have carried for a while. Um, it's just, it's absolutely gorgeous. I'm sure I don't damage my folder. Um, it's by Jeanette Douglas. It's number two, Cheerful. And I do want to do all the ones in the, in the series. There's several in the series. Like, I think this is a photo. Thankful, number one. Thankful, it's not real easy to see though. But yes, I would love to do all, all the ones in the series. It calls uh, for you to stitch it on 36 count. Um, but I chose to do, oh no, I did it on, thir it's 36 count. And I think it's okay. I don't think I need to iron it. So I, I like to stitch in hand when I can. So I, I basically, I'll, I'll look at a pattern and I'll say, okay, does this need to be on a hoop? Do I need to stitch this in a hoop? Or could I do, you know, stitch, stitch it well in hand? And so I have been stitching this one in hand. So that's how far I've gotten. And this was the other whip go number uh, for um, February. So I worked eight straight days on this one. And that's how far I've gotten. I actually, this, I don't know if you can tell, but there's like this little border right here that is, it's just like an embroidery, kind of a, a um, what do they call it? Satin stitch, it's kind of like a satin stitch. And so I had done this border all the way up the side and then I stitched the flowers and then I realized after I got the flower stitch that my border was off. So I ended up last night taking this border out and redoing it. So it's not bad, it's, it's really easy to do. So that's how far I've gotten on that one. And I love this, I love this. I can't wait to get this one done. And the size of it is, oh, it's just so cute. That's the, actually the, the corner flower. So if you can see, it's, it's actually this flower right here. So now I'll come across this way and back down. So you can see the size that it's going to be. It's just super cute, absolutely super cute. So um, that was my February call and I did work on it for eight days and I am using the call for silks. I actually bought the kit, the floss kit on um, one, two, three stitch. And I've just been gradually gathering um, the full schemes of Gloriana as I go along. I'll, like if I make a purchase, I'll just, I'll just, grab another one of these colors. But um, so far I've, I've had plenty of thread in the kit. So it's not because I feel like I'm gonna run out. I just thought it would be cool to um, have those colors on hand. Super pretty. You can see the colors in this. It's just so, that blue, ah, that's what got me with this one. <laughs> Alrighty, so enough on that one. So that was my other whip go call number number 24 in March. 
and I told you that this was on 36 count mellow. And I look how much I have. So I, I got a, um, a fat quarter. So I have enough for another one on this side and then I can put two more. If the other patterns are the same size, I could literally put all, I could put four of these on this one piece of fabric. And they'd be all matchy matchy. <laughs> so I know there's a Christmas one that's really pretty. It's like poinsettias, yeah. So I love flowers, anything flowers. If it's got flowers, I'll, I'll wanna stitch it. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So that was what I stitched on in February, but I also, so 16 days, right? If I work on whip go, each whip go for eight days in the month, um, that pretty much gives me nearly a half a month to work on whatever I want to. If I choose to work on those patterns some more, then I'll do that, which that's what I've been doing, <laughs> working on my blooming bouquette some more. Um, so today is the 28th. Yes, today's 28th, so, oh, happy leap year, by the way. <laughs> Isn't that cool? Um, so tomorrow's the last day of February, so I'll probably stitch on um, my blooming bouquets again, only because I feel like, you know how, you know how when you get to stitching on something and you're, you're just, you feel like you're making progress and you don't want to put it down, so. Um, I really do need to work on my, um, map of Hawker and hollow that's for my husband he actually picked that pattern out when we were at the stitcher's paradise in vegas this is where i got um i bought the pattern and the supplies i really need to work on it some more um so i might i might choose to work on it like in march when i'm done with my whip go numbers um so yeah and i don't think i did any stitching on tuesday so I'll just go ahead and fill that in. Um, I think that's everything, um, yeah, that I stitched on since I last, I'm sure there's something more that I stitched on, but I really didn't do a lot of stitching. Oh, the numbers for March are one and 10, so, Bluebird Berscornu, which is a pattern. I don't have it with me. I will be stitching on that in March. Um, I've had that pattern forever, ever, ever. And so, and my number one, num for number one for March is Ann Tong. <laughs> so I'll be working on her again. So that's my plans for um, March, but I'm sure I will be working on I, there's a few patterns here that have just been calling. Even during the winter holidays, I just kept looking at them thinking, oh, I'm gonna start those. And one of those is Strawberry Fair. So I have everything to start this one. I have the fabric and the floss, the call for floss. I really wanna start that one. Another one I have is Good Deeds by Brenda Gervais. But I still need to get the, excuse me, I still need to get the fabric and everything um, for her. Also, I have, this is another one that's been calling my name. Uh, Summer School House lesson number one. So super excited that I was able to find that pattern and purchase it. And I have all the floss, but I don't have the fabric yet. So I need to get the fabric. Oh, actually I have fabric. I had, I had a piece of scrap, so this is mushroom. And it calls for, it calls for 28 counts, so that's what I have. So I was able to, so that's, that's that why I have it in a project bag, because it's all ready to go. That's been calling my name, I wanna start that. And keep this as organized as possible. Another one, probably drop half of it on the way back upstairs. And then the other one that's been calling my name is In the Forest by Lottie Da. 
I just love these rabbits. And I want to start it. And I have, I have the fabric and the floss for that one. This is um, 36 count magical gray. E Edinburgh, and I don't know what the difference between that is, but I, I, I'm excited to stitch on this. I don't know what, I guess the Edinburgh, Eden, Edinburgh stands for the 36 count, maybe. And then all the flosses, which I don't have them. I need to put them on, on bags. So let me see if I can hold this up where you can see the colors. That's going to be so pretty, you guys. Oh, super excited about that one. It's another one I want to start. And yeah, I think that's everything. I um, I do have this pattern, but I'm I don't probably probably won't start it anytime soon. It's another one that my daughter picked out when we were in Vegas. Um, I got her other one done, so but I'm not planning on starting that one anytime soon. And so one thing that I did do during the holidays, my daughter, my youngest daughter, purchased me a diamond painting um, for Christmas. I've never done diamond painting before, so um, I'm going to take this plastic off so you can see what it looks like. And I've only got a few more black ones to put on and I'm done with it. And it's kind of hard to tell what it is. And her and I went back and forth about what it, what the picture really is. Um, oh my goodness, this plastic's really stuck to it. I really need to get those other diamonds on there. But this is it. I don't know, just maybe they all, everyone's telling me that she's got lanterns. It's lanterns behind her, so. Yeah, it's my first diamond painting. And you can see all the like the gray areas, just um, black. That's all I have left to do. And it'll be finished. And the reason I haven't finished it is because she had to go back to school. Her and I worked on, she got one and I got one. And uh, her and I just diamond painted together uh, the whole time she was home on Christmas break. And then she had to go back to school and I was like, well, I'm not gonna work on mine anymore until you come home. <laughs> And we can continue to work on ours together, but she's getting spring break probably in a, another couple weeks. So I don't know, maybe, maybe we'll work on diamond painting. Um, another exciting thing, and I think this is the final thing that I have to share with you guys today, is that I signed up for the Fabric of the Month Club with Be Stitch Me. And, uh, Let's see, this is uh, February, so one, two, let's see, yeah. So February, January, December, November, and October. So I signed up in October, um, and I've gotten five fabrics so far. I signed up for the 36 count, um, just random colors, whatever she, you know, whatever she chooses to send me. Um, and the first one I got was called Nightshade. And it's this really pretty, hmm. it looks purple. It looks blue on the camera, but it's more purpley. It's just really pretty. It's like a cross between purple and blue. It's just gorgeous. Let me see if this, if you can see it better. My phone is, oh, there we go. That's, that's the color right there. It's super, super pretty. So let me see if I can open it up. Isn't that pretty? It's just gorgeous. And this is the first time I've ever signed up for a fabric of the month club. Yeah, that kind of washes it out. So that was for October's. 
and then they're just so pretty I haven't I haven't decided to stitch on any of them yet <laughs> the one reason I signed up is because I, I wanted to build up a stash of 36 count and I had been thinking about signing up for this so December's I got wait that must that was October so November so I think I got Maki Auto just this pretty brown like mocha color kind of get through this kind of quick um, and then December's was uh, Blue Moon isn't that gorgeous ah look at that marbling is just so pretty and then um, January's is called Dusty Cottage. Here, yeah, I'll take this one out. So this is a neutral, which is fine. I think I signed up for neutral or or whatever. Because I, I tend, if left to myself, I tend to stay in the neutral zone and I, I really need to start branching out into some colors. My stitching. So, it's not. Isn't that pretty? Oh, it's just so pretty. There's like three or four different colors in there. I don't know if you can tell, but it's just gorgeous. The marbling and everything. Look at that. Mm. So it'll be fun to, to decide what I decide to stitch on those. And then uh, this month is on its way to me right now. I just haven't gotten them out yet. Oh, wow, <laughs> I thought it was gonna be a lot worse than that. I actually got through that fairly okay without too much trouble. Um, so that's pretty much what I've been up to, everyone. I hope everyone's doing well and that you've been having a lot of fun stitching and getting all the things. So um, I will probably be back with another floss tube soon to share. Um, my progress on my WIPCO numbers and uh, I know Nashville markets coming up so um, maybe everybody has an idea of some patterns that they're thinking about getting and so I probably will sit down tonight look through them I, I have glanced and saw a couple of patterns that I, I think I'm probably gonna get <laughs> so but um, I appreciate all of you guys thank you so much for continuing to subscribe and and, um, and to um, comment and I haven't looked at the comments so um, I need to, to get down there and, and go through the comments it's been a while it just kind of went wild kind of went rogue there for a while but um, I appreciate everybody thank you so much and I hope you have a great stitchy month coming up and I will talk to you again soon in my next video all right see ya thank you